I'm skipping the whole day to study for this midterm. This is just like the absolute state of my desk right now. So this week, my midterm is for my electromagnetism course. As long as I can get through it, I have a midterm this week and I actually had a midterm last week. Last week was really, really brutal. I had two assignments that were due actually today in the morning, but technically that meant that they were due last night. So those were group projects and one of them involved like actually testing and like creating something. So that's why I soldered like a PCB board in my last video. So this week my midterm is for my electromagnetism course which okay my midterm last week and my midterm this week it's prior to my reading week but it's a 30 percent midterm which i just found out so now i'm kind of worried because like that's a lot because electromagnetism is kind of one of my not so great courses so i just really need to get on top of some stuff luckily it's only covering i think about two chapters of our textbook so we'll see i think a lot of it is just calculus and applying like equations i think i do get one equation sheet which isn't that bad but it's still going to be really really difficult i just need to catch up on some other things i had a meeting this morning so i didn't actually end up going to school and my lab was last week so now i just have no school until like 3 p.m that's kind of how my schedule is most days like my labs take up a huge chunk of the day which is why i'm at school from like 9 to 6 p.m it's usually because of a three hour lab in the middle somewhere, but I'm just taking notes for my electronics course. I don't actually need to, but I'm worried that I'll fall really far behind if I don't take notes now. And I don't want to like depend on taking notes for this course over the reading week. I want to like focus my time on some other courses. That's kind of the plan for right now. But anyway, I hope all of you guys is like semester has been going pretty well i hope if you guys are taking any midterms they've been okay and i guess this will be the start of my midterm season for the winter semester so let's get into it hello everyone it's voiceover serena welcome or welcome back to another midterm vlog i have five midterms this season so expect to see many more of these in the future as well i wanted to just start off talking a bit about how midterm season is sometimes the hardest part of university i find it especially hard compared to finals because during midterms i still have to balance other coursework alongside taking and studying for these exams especially with the regular course load in engineering having exams on top of that can often feel very overwhelming. So for anyone else that's also struggling just with the amount of work they have to do, just know that you're definitely not alone and that my best advice is to use some sort of organization tool just to help not feel overwhelmed with work. And if you've been watching me for a while, you would definitely know that I'm about to say Notion, but I would also say Google Calendar on top of that. Notion is really good for getting down the day-to-day -day tasks on some sort of to-do list or even in a calendar. You can organize due dates really well so that you can stay on top of other coursework and assignments while also remembering when your exams are or when you should be studying for each exam. Google Calendar is really good to get a very big picture overview of just when everything is happening. Depending on how you organize it, I normally don't put my due dates on my Google Calendar, but you can definitely do that as an option. I usually just put my exam dates on my Google Calendar so that I know when to start studying for each of these exams. This leads really, really well into the next topic that I wanted to talk about, which is the importance of time blocking your exams. So the reason why using an organizational tool such as Notion or Google Calendar is really helpful is that you can count back the days from your exam so that you know when is the right time to start studying. I find this especially helpful during final season because sometimes I just have back-to-back -back exams, so I have to know when I have to start studying for each of them. I would say majority of the time this really depends 
depends on yourself and how well you know yourself. What I mean by this is how long does it normally take for you to revise for an exam and to be confident that you know all the material that will be covered on that exam? On average, I want to say it'll take you probably around a week or maybe five days, give or take. So what you want to do is figure out which day is your exam. Is it in the morning or is it in the evening? And then count back the correct number of days so that you have enough time for yourself to study for that exam. I find that oftentimes the hardest part is literally just starting. I am also a big procrastinator, so starting is usually the biggest hurdle for me to get over. And then after you count back the number of days, I usually like to give myself one or two days of breathing room. Usually it's often inevitable for you to fall a little bit behind in terms of your study schedule, so it's good to have at least one or two days in case you need to catch up or there's more material that you just weren't able to cover. Hey team, I need to do a little update because this week has just been absolutely crazy for me. I have a midterm tonight and I'm actually so, I should have started earlier. I should have started over the weekend, but I had like a huge written document due for my um, design course. And so that took up my entire weekend. And to be fair, I was just being a little bit lazy because I was really tired from last week because I also had a midterm last week. So this week I have a midterm and it's a really heavily weighted midterm, which is why I'm currently at home and not at school because I'm skipping the whole day to study for this midterm. I haven't been posting because of my midterms and just like so many projects and stuff that I've been doing at school. So hopefully after the reading week, which is when I'm probably going to edit all of these videos, I'll be posting a little bit more consistently as usual. Yeah, that's kind of like the update for now. It's only covering two chapters, but one of the chapters is all of electrostatics, um, which is like electrical physics i guess i don't know um and then the next chapter we're gonna do is all of electromagnetics i'm pretty sure and the thing is it's like kind of rev a review because i did this in first year but i was really bad at it in first year because i just didn't learn electrostatics and like physics in high school which a lot of other people did so I feel like it just made getting introduced to it a lot harder for me. Second of all, it's with calculus this time. It kind of was last time, but like we kind of like ignored a bit of it. But this time it's with calculus. And I think the hardest part is that there's so many equations and we only get like an equation sheet, but they do not give us any like units or whatever. It's just like a bunch of letters. So it's like, I have to just like know all of the equations by heart basically in order to be able to do like this well so that's the update i've been studying since around like 10 30 ish a.m this morning and right now it's basically just one and i have about three more chapters to go not chapters units in the chapter and it actually started snowing which is like so cool because it's literally been so not winter like this year which is interesting because Normally we get like a lot of snow, but like over the years, it's kind of just not been snowing as much. But like, look at the snow. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Also, this is just like the absolute state of my desk right now. I've got like my notes that I've been taking, notes from lecture on my iPad, the textbook on my laptop, listening to music. I use a wire like this so I don't uh like run out of battery here practice midterms on the side that i'm gonna be trying to get to soon i just want to like write down all the materials so that i like understand what's going on a lot more and i will say i'm not one to usually use textbooks but for a lot of my courses this year the notes that my teachers take in class are not quite enough for me because they're just not this isn't my favorite textbook it's I hate the formatting of this textbook. It's like double column formatting, which is like so not easy to read in my opinion. And they just do blocks and chunks of text. I'm just kind of like glancing through, writing down the important stuff and like circling all the important uh, like equations and whatnot and drawing diagrams when I can. But yeah, overall, I don't know if I have the highest hopes for this midterm. It is 30%. <laughs> which is literally so much. And I thought there were two midterms, but it's only one. As long as I can get through it, Friday is literally gonna be like a whatever day for me. I just have a presentation on Friday and then it's the reading week. 
and yeah I still have stuff due over the reading week which is kind of crazy but and I have stuff due the week right after the reading week which is also crazy I hate that they do that but at least I'm over with the midterms for a period of time because my next midterms are in March hopefully it's not too too chaotic until then now on to probably the hardest topic to sort of come to terms with, which is dealing with failure or not meeting expectations. As a somewhat academic person, I'd like to say for myself, maybe also you if you're watching this video, I find that it's really hard to deal with failure or at least not meeting your own expectations that you set for yourself. Of course, there are ways to deal with it and I will talk about some of the ways that I have been able to deal with it. However, before I get into that, I just wanna say that a bad grade does not define who you are as a person. I know that sometimes when you put all of these expectations on yourself, you sometimes find that it's the end of the world when you receive something back that's not as good as you want. But trust me, there is a very small possibility that you'll go out into the world after you're done university and someone will ask, hey, what did you get on that one midterm in second year, second semester? Now I'll move on to some of my own solutions for dealing with failure or just not meeting expectations. My first solution is to request a regrade. Obviously, this has to be within reason and this also depends on your school and if they offer this for you. A lot of the times when I get my exams back, I notice that the TA had graded my work a little bit unfairly and so I think it's within reason for me to request a regrade for that specific question or just to get more marks. I really strongly advise you to look at the solution sheet if they provide it beforehand, compare your answer to that solution, and then see if there are any possibilities of you getting more partial marks. Making your request is also really really important in the way that you format it. Normally for me that means sending an email to the head TA, make your email respectful, make your argument justifiable, but also make sure that your email doesn't have any sort of negative tone or just passive aggressive tone. There are some cases where your request will not actually be taken. In that scenario what I would do is is to look over the entire solution and then see the questions where you went wrong and see exactly why you went wrong. You know, was it the start of your approach to the question or was it a smaller mistake throughout the question? Being able to identify where your mistakes are really helps in learning and doing better for next time. It also like snowed like maybe 10 centimeters or something this whole day. So I gotta like <laughs> wear boots and stuff. Anyway, that's why I literally look like I'm bundled up for the winter because it's snowing like crazy outside. But I'm going now, wish me luck. I really don't know how I'm gonna do, but I'm just hoping I pass at this point. I should have started studying earlier, <laughs> but that's what I say every time. So it really makes no difference. I just hope my brain will work. I need it to like remember calculus. I'll see you guys after with the debrief. <laughs> I went out with my friends after the midterm because it was that bad <laughs> that we had to like leave and like go places and then just like not talk about it, but like talk about other things to get our mind off of it. The midterm was kind of mid. I don't know how else to explain. It was just not good, not bad. It was mostly just not good. <laughs> it was hard and there was not enough time <laughs> and so I left a lot of some questions kind of blank and it was just so bad I don't know I think that was the general consensus from everybody so that's all to say we're finally done midterms for now I have two more after the reading week actually it might be three more but yeah it's a little bit more spaced out now but I can finally rest for a little bit and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.